how many know that God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all you can ask something according to the power that worketh in us hallelujah how many believe it tonight somebody turn to your neighbor and tell your neighbor he's able tell somebody else he's able y'all ready exceedingly abundantly Amen. Amen. Tunaona ya kwamba wameweza kuingia taratibu na wameweza kuchanga muka pale kiwa na umaridadi wao wa majabu. Tuwakaribishe kwa makofi wale ambao wako hapa kanisani na wale ambao mnatutazama nyumbani. Tafadhali tuwakaribishe wana harusi pamoja na kikundi chake. Makofi Amen Tunawakaribisha Tunataka kuwakaribisha wale ambao ni wasimamizi wa Bia Rusi, the bridal team. Wao ndio ambao watakaweza tutangulia na kisha baadaye tukaweze kukaribisha Bia Rusi pamoja na wazazi wake, pamoja na msimamizi wake. Karibuni, taratibu mekaribishwa, wimbo wenu ndio huo. Amen.
taratibu wa madaha wanaingia furaha siku ya leo Kuna kama Yehova Hata wale mulioko ndani tafadhali Imba pamoja na wao Karibisha bi harusi pamoja na wazazi na msimamizi wake wakaweze kuingia sasa Wimbo wao ndio huo
Kaweze kufurahia wimbo ule na poendelea kutabatika Wimbo mtamu kweli Kaweze kushangilia bwana kwa makofi ni siku njema siku ya furaha ambayo tunayo harusi ya dada wetu Damaris na ndugu yetu Jomaina ambao ni siku ambayo Mungu ameweza kuwapa siku ya furaha haleluya yeah we need to thank god that he has given us this day kabla ya kuweza kuketi ningetaka tuwakaribishe kiongozi cha sifa kikundi cha sifa na uimbaji hapa kanisani la Full Gospel Churches of Kenya Jabini ili tukaweze kumtukuza Bwana kwa nyimbo mbili na ili tukaweze kuendelea haleluya najua ya kwamba ni siku ya furaha hata yule ambaye aliye mbali na wewe kwa sababu ya ya social distance pungie mkono muambie haleluya muambie welcome to this wonderful day ni siku ya furaha sio siku ambayo ni ya husuni ni siku ya furaha niwakaribisha waimbaji ambao wataweza kuongoza na wimbo na ili tukaweze kuendelea amen ngenezewe mics ni wakati wa kumsifu Mungu ni siku ambayo ni ya furaha siku ya leo ambapo tunafanya tuliko na harusi ya dada wetu na dugu yetu kwa hivyo ningeomba tutapopewa tune ya kusifu tuweze kupiga makofi na ili tumsifu Bwana kwa matendo ambayo ametutendea makusi ya leo haleluya amen
Asante sana waimbaji wetu pale. Ninawauliza wote tukaweze kuketi chini na tukaweze kufurahia Bwana kwa makofi. Haleluya. Tumpigie Bwana wetu makofi. Leo ni siku ya furaha. Leo ni siku ya maajabu. Leo ni siku ambayo Bwana ameifanya na tunafaa kufurahia kwa sababu yake. Pale shambani Edeni Mungu alipo ona ya kwamba Adamu ako na huzuni. Yeye mwenyewe peke yake aliweza kutayarisha ndoa. Yeye ndiye ambaye alikuwa mchungaji mkuu, yeye ndiye ambaye alikuwa kikundi cha uimbaji, yeye ndiye ambaye alikuwa kila kitu. Na kwa hivyo siku ya leo tukiwa na Mungu hata nafasi zingine ambazo zinaweza onekana ya kwamba hazina wale ambao wanafaa kuwa wameketi, tunaweza kushukuru na kusema ya kwamba the heaven representative is here with us. Hallelujah. Na tukijua ya kwamba yule ambaye ni mwanzilishi wa ndoa yumo katika mahali hapa hatuna la kuhofia ni kufurahi peke yake Bwana apewe sifa. Ninulie ni mkono tuonyeshe ya kwamba tuko pamoja. Amen. Wale ambao wanatutazama nyumbani mara tena tunawakaribisha. Tukaweze kuendelea na ndoa hii ya dada wetu Damaris ambaye amerembeka sana ambaye ako katika sura yake ya furaha pamoja na ndugu wetu Jumaina ambaye amerebeka kabisa tunawakaribisha hapa na Mungu yuko pamoja nasi tunaenda kuingia katika kipindi cha kuwakaribisha viongozi wetu ambao tunowatambua viongozi wa kanisa hili letu la Full Gospel Churches of Kenya ambao wamo pamoja nasi miongoni mwetu tunaye regional bishop ambaye amefika ambaye ni bishop daktari Charles Kabiru pamoja na district bishop ambaye pia amefika ambaye ni bishop dr Peter Mbugwa Kungu na ninajua ya kwamba wakiwa hapa pamoja na uh, kiongozi wa kanisa hili ambaye ni reverend Joseph Njuguna najua ya kwamba baraka zimo pamoja nasi na kwa hivyo kwa dakika hii ningetaka kupeana nafasi ni mkaribishe district bishop ambaye ni Dr. Peter Mbogwa Kongo akaweze kuchukua nafasi ile ili akaweze kutuelekeza kuanzia mahali pale na kuendelea. Tumkaribishe kwa makofi anapokuja microphone yake najua ya kwamba imeshatengenezwa na najua ya kwamba Bwana atatutenda mema. Karibu sana Bishop. Asante. Napenda kuchukua nafasi hii nipate kuwasalimu nyote katika jina la Yesu mjambo. Bwana asifiwe. Namshukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya siku ya leo ambayo ni harusi ya dada wetu pamoja na ndugu wetu ambao tuliitarajia kwamba ingekuwa siku ambazo zimepita lakini kwa sababu ya janga la COVID-19 ambao liko katika dunia yote wa kuweza kufanya harusi wakati ambapo tulikuwa tunatarajia. Furaha yangu ni kwamba ingawa mambo yako hivyo siku imefika na ndio ya leo. Nimefurahi Damaris pamoja na Joy, nimeitwa unaitwa Joy Maina. Uh, kwa sababu igawa harusi yenu inaonekana ina watu wachache sana kwa sababu ya vile mambo ya livyo uh, usijari kwa sababu Mungu yuko pamoja nasi na doa ama harusi itakuwa ile ile na baraka mtapokea ya Mungu ni watu tu wamepungua lakini mambo yote yataendelea vizuri kwa hivyo kwa sababu siku hizi hatukubaliwi kuwa na muda mrefu ni nataka ku kuambia mtu yuko hapa ambaye ni Reverend Joshua asimame awasalimu akiwa hapo alipo ili tupate kuendelea Asante sana Harusi hii e, ni ya msichana wa mchungaji wetu Reverend Jovona 
na tumekuwa tukifanya kazi na yeye hapa kwa Nyandarwa kwa muda mrefu na pamoja hai, na hayo yeye ndiye secretary wa wilaya yetu na amekuwa mtu mzuri katika kazi hiyo na katika uhusiano ambao tumekuwa nao Tulikuwa tunaongea na yeye ananipigia simu ananiambia mambo yanaenda hivi hata mimi nasikia mambo yamekuwa mazito na ninaomba kwa ajili ya harusi hii tangia mambo yalianza kuwa mabaya lakini nasikia furaha kwa sababu siku ya leo Jumaina pamoja na Damaris mtaanza nyumba yenu leo kwa sababu siku imefika nataka tuombe ili niweze kumkaribisha ambaye ataendelesha jambo hili ya harusi hii uh, ili tupate kuendelea tuombeni Mungu wetu na baba wetu liye juu mbinguni nazo shukura ni nyingi kwa ajili ya siku ya leo maana we uliijua siku hii kwa sababu tulipotarajia kufanya harusi ya vijana hawa hatukuweza lakini Mungu ulikuwa unaijua siku hii licha ya kuwa dunia yote ina shida na matatizo na makanisa yamefungwa na harusi asiendelei na kushukuru kwa sababu ya mwanya huo mdogo umepatikana ili vijana hawa waweze kuunganishwa siku ya leo na kushukuru kwa ajili ya jambo hilo umewalinda Mungu wetu wakati huo kulikuwa na uzito huo na umewasaidia kusimama vizuri na kukutumainia na kushukuru kwa ajili ya jambo hilo pia pia wazazi wamekuwa na shughuli nyingi na mambo ya hapa na pale wakishughulika ili siku hii ipate kufanikiwa na Mungu umesaidia siku hii imeweza kufanikiwa na ndio sababu tuko hapa mbele zako katika kanisa hilo kwa ajili ya harusi ya leo upokee sifa zote na shukurani zote tunamtumishi wako ambaye atasimama mbele yetu ili kuendelesha ibada hii paka ifike mwisho nataka kuomba Mungu wetu mtakatifu upate kumbariki anaposimama mpe afya ya rohoni afya mawazo na ya mwilini na uongozi wa roho wako mtakatifu ili anapoendelea na kutufundisha neno lako na mambo yote yanayohusiana na ibada hii aendelee chini ya uongozi wako asante maana Mungu umembariki na tasimama akiwa amebarikiwa utubariki zote bao tumefika Mungu wetu tunapoendelea pokea sifa zote maana Mungu umesikia katika jina kuu na safi la Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo nimeomba na kuamini amen sasa tuna mtumishi wa Mungu ambaye ndiye atakayeunganisha harusi hii ya Jumaina pamoja na Damaris ni ajabu sana ninaona Jumaina ni mtoto wa mzee wa kanisa kule ungali huko Kikuyu huko Nairobi sasa Ojuja Juja na huyu baba yake dia aliyekuwa mchungaji wetu pamoja na Reverend Jogona wakati tulikuwa kule tulitoka sehemu za wanjohi sasa unaona sijui wametafutana na muna gani watu wa kutoka wanjohi wametafutana wanarudi wame, ili wapate kuona kwa hivyo nashukuru kwa sababu ya harusi hiyo basi tuna mtumishi wa Mungu ambaye atatuongoza katika harusi hii naye si mwingine ni bishop dr Charles Kabiro ambaye ndiye regional bishop wetu wa Central Kenya region ambao tuko ndani yake na aliweza kualikwa katika harusi na aka kubari kuwa pamoja nasi 
na jambo hilo ni nzuri. Kwa hivyo kwa sababu yeye ndiye kiongozi wetu katika region yetu sasa ni mimi ndiyo nilistahili kumkaribisha na kwa hivyo singekoza kufika ili nipate kumkaribisha ni kiongozi wangu wa miaka mingi nimekuwa ndepute wake miaka mingi na tumeendelea miaka mingi katika nyandarua hii na hakika Mungu ametusaidia kuendelea na amani pia hata katika region yetu miaka hii ametuongoza tumeendelea vizuri na tumefurahia uongozi wa region yetu kwa sababu dini ya folk gospel ina regions nyingi na tunasikia vile mambo yanaendelea hata wilaya tunajua vile tunasikiaga lakini Mungu ametusaidia tunaendelea vizuri hapa kwetu region ya Central Kenya region sitaki kuwa na mambo mengi ninataka kumkaribisha ili apate kutuongoza na kutuendelesha mahali pamebakia kufikia kikomo cha harusi ya leo ili Joe Mai na pamoja na Damalis wawe mume na mke katika jina la Yesu. Karibu sana kiongozi wetu ili upate kuendelea uh, na harusi hii ya siku ya leo ya watoto wa viongozi wa dini ya Fall Gospel kiwepo secretary wetu wa wilaya. Asante sana. Ubarikiwe na poendelea. Wapi Mike? Oh, imeletwa. Asante. Bwana asifiwe. Basi ningeweza kuitoa kwa sababu tumefanya nayo stahiri. Siku hizi kuna mambo tunafanya inakaa kama uganga. <laughs> Lakini you got to to understand to be dynamic and uh, also live with the new normal. Praise the name of the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Napenda kushukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa nafasi ambayo umetujaria leo. Nashukuru Bishop Daktari Peter Kongo na Reverend ambayo umeingia Joshua Reverend ambayo ni babake Damaris wazee wa kanisa walie mahali hapa pamoja na babake Joe na vile vile ni na Reverend Naomi who is my wife who has accompanied me this way Marafiki na watu wa jamii mulie mahali hapa hamjamboni. Praise the name of the Lord. Good morning. <laughs> Ningependa kuchukua nafasi hii ni mpatie Reverend Naomi akaweze kusimama karibu tu hapa. Na kwa sababu wakikuyu anasema mtu ni uso. Anaweza kuondoa barakoa kidogo muone yeye ni nani rafikisha baada ya rudisha barakoa yake <laughs> anapowasalimu ili kisha tuweze kuendelea katika jina la Yesu alisema lazima afike mahali hapa ili aweze kushuhudia harusi ya wapendo hao wawili karibu sana Okay, Asante sana. katika na nikawa na kibari hicho sika kufika mahali hapa ili nikaweze uh, kuhudhuria harusi hii kwa sababu ni vizuri na nimesikia nitoe hii alafu nirudie kwa sababu ninataka kupata sheria sana uh, ilikuwa karibu mimi nisije ni kwa sababu Uh, tunasikia ya kwamba watu wanatakikana 15 katika harusi na mazishi lakini mimi nikasema nitakuja tu kwa sababu sikuwa ninaona ni vyema ku, kutokuhudhuria na nimeomba Mungu nikamwambia ya kwamba nipe nafasi tu nihudhurie coincidence ikalingana na wakati nilikuwa nikienda kumuona daktari nilikuwa nimeenda check up 
leo asubuhi na ule daktari nilikuwa nionane na yeye alikuwa anatoka na rombi. Sasa kufikiria kutoka na rombi na ile lockdown iko mahali pale. Sasa jioni nikaomba Mungu nikamwambia afungue milango yote ili siku ya leo nikaweze kuhudhuria. Na asubuhi siku ya chana na bishop nikamwambia sasa nitajaribu nitaomba Mungu na ninaamini ya kwamba aa, nitamaliziwa na nikukute. Na ninajua ya kwamba aa, bishop ni mtu wa mazaa wa masa. Kwa hivyo alikuwa toke saa tatu nyumbani na mara nyingi huyu daktari huwa anafika saa tatu sasa nilikuwa na hofia. Lakini kwa sababu ya maombi huyu daktari akafika saa mbili. Bai saa mbili na nusu ilikuwa nimemaliziwa. Na nikarudi nyumbani na nikapata nafasi ya kupokea breakfast yangu kisha tukaelekea upande huu. Shinda ilikuwa ya kwamba nikute chivu hapa. Aniambia wewe mama kaa kando kwa sababu tunataka watu wachache. Nikihesabu uh, ndiye harusi na bwana harusi na wazazi na wasimamizi wachache nilikuwa naona mimi ni kama nitakuwa kando lakini nikasema nitamwambia chivu. Mimi hii certificate inapeano hapa mimi ndio ninaweka nyumbani. Na ikimalizika mimi dio nitamemba. Kwa hivyo mimi lazima nikehudhulia hii harusi. Na pamoja na hayo nimefurahia ni kwa sababu wakati nilijiona nimeingia gari ninakuja nikashukuru Mwenyezi Mungu. Wazazi hawa wote wa pande zote mbili aa, tunajuana nao. Aa, wazazi wa msichana ambaye ni njeri sisi tunamjua njeri. Ndama sisi tunasikia hapa sisi tunamjua Jerry sasa hao tunawajuana sana hata kabla ya Jerry kuja hapa ulimwenguni tulijuana na wazazi kwa hivyo amelelewa ameota tukimuona wazazi wa Maina ambaye tunamuona leo Maina shosho yake na babu yake ndio tunajuana kwa sababu hata shosho yake alikuwa naifasha Uh, miaka uh, ni kama mwaka mmoja uliyopita na tukakaa na yeye huko na kikazi tumejuana nao sana na kwa hivyo ilikuwa nilikuwa nasikia sitaki kukosa kuwa mahali hapa hata tulipoongea na tuli, kuna wakati tuliongea na Reverend Jokona nikamwambia mimi naona kama sitafika kwa sababu ya hizi sheria siko katika nchi yetu ya Kenya lakini ni sheria nzuri na lakini ni huko kwa moyo wangu nilikuwa nasikia sitaki kukosa hii harusi ya Jerry kwa sababu tumejuana nao sana na ninasikia ya kwamba hata baraka zangu nikiomba wabarikiwe nitakuwa nimeridhika ndani ya moyo wangu na kwa hivyo nasikia vizuri Jerry ubarikiwe sana unapopata nyumba yako na Mungu awasaidie mkianza nyumba yenu a uh, mwa, muanze na iendelee mbele katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Kwa hivyo mbarikiwe sana na Mungu awatende mema. Amen. Ndio, asante sana Naomi Kabiro, Mungu akubariki. Basi kwa ajili ya vile muda ulivyo na fikiria watu wa Nairobi watarudi Nairobi leo. Sisi watu wa mashambani tutabaki tuendelee. We love you guys. And I want to appreciate ni kile kilichoko ni kwamba vile mambo yameenda ni vizuri kuwa adaptable. Ningetaka kuwashukuru wapendo hao wawili hawa vijana wetu ambao wamekubaliana ili wakaweze kufika katika kiwango hicho. Napenda kuwashukuru kwa heshima ambayo umeonyesha kwake Mwenyezi Mungu na hata kwa wazazi wenu na ningesema Mungu wabariki wazazi na washukuru sana kwa vile ambavyo mmetolea pamoja na wengine watu wa familia na kanisa ili mkaweze kufaulisha hili jambo Harusi ingekuwa tarehe 18 mwezi wa 4 kama vile ilivyokuwa imeratibiwa hata kisheria na hata katika diary zetu na mchungaji babake Damaris lakini yalifika yale ambayo hatukutarajia 
na hata when the, a, a new disturbing issue arises in life it's a bit uh, stressful na inasumbua watu mawazo na karibu ni mwambie babake basi zitufanye kama ile ambayo ni ya labani na we had gone that far tungewashikanisha style fulani lakini kwa hivyo vyote Mungu na nyinyi ikawezekana iwe ni siku hii ya leo baada ya kuvumilia kule e, kilichoko ni kwamba kama watu ndiye wangesusia ndiyo tungesikia vibaya kufika katika harusi ya siku ya leo lakini siku siku suzia kilichoko ni kwamba wanazuiliwa kwa sababu watu wangefika wengi Damaris, you are dad and mom have got a name and they got friends they have the influence na amini ya kwamba Mr Kimani na mke wake na nyinyi wengine si kila mtu ana marafiki na influence yake tungekuwa tumejaa mahali hapa lakini kilichoko ni kwamba ni vizuri tuenende kulingana na mambo vile ametukuta they have a new slogan they are calling it the new normal or adaptable to new uh, situation the way it is na ni vizuri tuenende katika jia hiyo basi kilichoko ni kwamba pale ninaona ndugu wawili nafikiria mmoja wao ndiye Kemani ama ndiye Mr. Maina Joe Maina na naomba uniye <laughs> mkono wa salamu oh there you are tupigie makofi asante Of course Damaris yeye amevaa kipekee sasa huyo hakuna haja kuuliza kuuliza yeye ni kama kufanya uabunuasi na sisi si abunuasi sisi ni watu wazuri tunapenda kuzungumza na kufanya mambo kwa jia inayostahili basi kilichoko ni kwamba i think uh, i want to re- you to remind us and to assure us uh, Mr Joe Maina, we are still interested in marrying Damaris Njeri. Are you still interested? Unaweza inua mikono hivi. Unajua says body language. Njeri is still ready to do it. Can we proceed? Asante. Tuwapigie makofi. Ningetaka kusema ya kwamba wapendwa hawa wamepitia taratibu zote zile ambazo zinastahili. Wamepitia katika makubaliano yao na wazazi ndiposa niliwashukuru because they did uh, kile ambacho kinachohistahiri wa vijana walie na maadili vijana ambao walilelewa vizuri katika nyumba ya Bwana na wamependa kutoa heshima hiyo kwake Mwenyezi Mungu na kwa wazazi kwa sababu tangu walipoanza nilielezwa na hata nikajua ni ni kijana ama ni vulana wa nani anayeoa njeri njeri nilimjua kama vile mama amesema tulijuana na wazazi kabla yeye kuzaliwa akazaliwa tukiwa pamoja we have seen her grow and of course they have seen us grow old isn't it <laughs> thank you wakiwa na dada yao dada yake pale mr and mrs kimani nimewajua nimejua wazazi wao he's been a senior uh, reverend for many years but gone to be with the lord Mama yake tumejuana. Mama nilimjua akiwa kijana na yeye so many years ago I was also young. Na lakini mimi nilikuwa ninaendelea na 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 na, na wakwangu. Najua wazazi wake or are you know the daughter of Mr. Watumuti? Yes, na huyo mzee nilimjua I remember one time we walked all the way from uh, from uh, Malewa tukaenda wajohi miguu na tukarudi kutoka wajohi tukarudi paka pale wakiwa na Reverend Musa Macharia so we have a history and i want to thank god for that nashukuru kwa sababu ya Mungu kunipa neema na hata baraka hizo kuwa mimi katikati ya wengi of course najua mnawaheshimu wachungaji wote na mnawaenzi lakini ndikaangukiwa na mti kwa hivyo kuangukiwa na huo mti wa kuwa mimi ndiye ta kae washikanisha basi ni baraka and i want to appreciate i want to believe i was my name was one, one among as the names that were being discussed one evening or two evenings and finally i, I took the day i want to appreciate that na mungu awabariki sana
sitaki kuvuruta sana kwa sababu ya muda si kwamba mambo hatuna nayo mengi lakini ningetaka kusema ya kwamba hii ni siku ya harusi ili tukaweze kuanzisha ndoa harusi ni siku ya ibada ambaye ni ya sherehe amba ni ibada ambayo wawili wanaoshikamanishwa ili wakaweze kuanza maisha ya ndoa ambayo ndoa is an institution ambayo inaanza kutoka dakika ya kwanza hadi miaka mingi is a, is a journey that you need to travel by years ni ni an experience that you need to live with for years until until death would separate them Ningependa kusoma neno la Mungu katika kitabu cha mwanzo mbili ishirina ine. kisha nisome Mathayo 19 kuanzia sita hadi tisa. na kwa na, na tena Ibrania 13 mustari wake wa ina. arafu nikaeze kuanza kuendelesha maneno machache ili basi tuingie katika eh, eh, the ceremony itself kwa hiyo mwanamume atamwacha babake na mamake naye atambatana na mkewe nao watakuwa mwili mmoja. Hivyo ndivyo ilikuwa pale tangu mwanzo na kisha baadaye is an institution that was uh, uh, founded and initiated by God. Na katika kitabu cha Mathayo 19 kuanzia mstari wa tatu ama chapter hiyo Uh, nusu yake inaeleza kuhusu mambo ya ndoa lakini nitasoma mistari michache pale 19 kuanzia mstari wa tatu hadi wa tisa ambapo hapa ninasema ya kwamba Jesus father confirmed about marriage and that it's until death nisome pamoja nawe basi mafarisayo wakamwendea wakamjaribu wakimwambia je ni halali mtu kumwacha mkewe kwa kila sababu akajibu akawaambia amukusoma ya kwamba yeye aliyewaumba mwanzo aliwaumba mtu mume na mtu mke akasema kwa sababu hiyo mtu atamwacha babaye na mamaye ataambatana na mkewe na hao wawili watakuwa mwili mmoja hata wamekuwa si wawili tena mbali mwili mmoja mbali alicho aliyowaunganisha Mungu mwanadamu asiwatenganishe Ibrania kumi na tatu mstari wa ine Biblia inasema ndoa na iheshimiwe na watu wote na malazi yawe safi kwa sababu sinzi na usharati Mungu atahukumia. Nilitaka kusoma aya hizo tatu nisieleze sana kwanza niseme ya kwamba marriage is an institution founded and ordained by God. Kwa hivyo jambo la ndoa lilianzishwa naye Mwenyezi Mungu ni vizuri tukumbushane uh, jambo hilo na ni kati ya watu wawili Yesu naye alipofika ulimwenguni kukawa a crisis ambao kulikuwa mkondo wa, wa maana ya ndoa ulikuwa umeshabadilishwa kiasi na na wana wa Israeli kwa sababu ya ugumu wa mioyo yao na Yesu alipofika mahali hapa ngawaje Wayahudi ama mafarisayo Wayahudi waliyekuwa wa dini ya kifarisayo walitaka kumtega Yesu ili wapate sababu ya kuweza kumshika na kumwadhibu na waliweza kumuuliza kana kwamba ni halali mtu kumwacha mke wake ama kumtaliki mke wake na hata Yesu ndiyo aliwakumbusha hamukusoma tangu mwanzo he knew of course they, 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 they were trying to take him around lakini wanted to remind him with his own wisdom akauliza hamu kusoma tangu mwanzo jinsi ilivyo andikwa ama jinsi ilivyo kuwa ya kwamba mvulana atamwacha baba na mama yake na atambatana na mke wake na hao wawili watakuwa mwili mmoja kisha baadaye wakamuuliza na kwa nini Musa aliweza kutoa hati ama cheti cha talaka Yesu akawaeleza ni kwa sababu ya ugumu wa mioyo ya Waisraeli diposa Musa aliweza kutoa mashauri hivyo but that is not the way it's supposed to be praise the name of the lord ni kwamba ndoa inastahili wawili mvulana 
na msichana wakishikana wa ambatane na hao wawili wawe mwili mmoja Yesu akaendelea kusema kusiwe na mtu yeyote ambaye anaweza kuwatenganisha lakini kifo tu ndicho kitakuwa kitu cha kuweza kuwatenganisha Naye mwandishi wa kitabu cha Ibrania reminded us that ndoa naiheshimiwe na watu wote this institution of marriage that was founded and ordained by God should be honored praise the name of the Lord na hivyo divi ilivyo na istahiri Jesus when he was uh, uh, put in an interview he confirmed that uh, ndoa iwe vile ambavyo ilivyokuwa tangu mwanzo na hata si hivyo peke yake akaongezea ya kwamba na kusiwe na mtu wa kuwatenganisha hadi kifo chenyewe kiwatenganishe Marriage kwa maneno machache yangu ambayo ningeweza kuelezea ndoa ni fungato ama ni ushirikiano wa kimaisha kati ya watu wawili mwanamume na mwanamke ambaye waliependana ambaye wameamua they have what you call self consenting na wamefikisha umri ambayo nastahili 18 years and above so that they can be able to reason by themselves that's what you call maturity na si hivyo peke yake maturity hiyo hiyo itawasaidia kuweza kuamua na hata kushirikiana na kupanga pamoja na kuamua mambo yao na kutembea pamoja because they are grown ups that means they don't need the influence of their parents because they are grown ups praise the name of the lord are we together na si hivyo peke yake nimesema watu ambaye wa, wamependana watu ambaye wamekoma watu ambaye ni kwa hiari yao self consenting na hilo lingine ni gani na na, na watu of course walie na akili timamu tena amen yeah, somebody who can be able to make his or her own judgment somebody who can be able to evaluate and know what is between good and bad Praise the name of the Lord. Kwa hivyo nimesema ni fungato la maisha. Kuna maneno yanakaribiana kuna funga, fungato na fungate. Fungate is honeymoon of course. Fungato comes after I mean uh, <laughs> fungate comes after fungato la maisha. And uh, I want to thank God because uh, you guys are here and we are going to do it and uh, you you are mature. And I want to believe pamoja na yale mmeelewa mambo mengi na mengine pengine wachungaji mliyekuwa nao upande wa Nairobi they must have had some time to give you counsel and guidance into the institution of marriage hiyo mara nyingi na wakumbushanga vijana hata wale wameendelea kusoma na wamesoma wamesoma kwa sababu you find even in those institutions where you attend your education in si si sidhani the lecturers would talk anything besides whatever they are supposed to be teaching in a particular discipline anasomesha hicho kama ni mambo ya fedha kama ni mambo ya wakili ya sheria kama ni mambo ya hayo mengine they dwell on that na unatokea ukiwa a very good mathematician a very good scientist a social science scientist or uh, whoever a lawyer na mambo kama yale mengine lakini hawaguzi kueleza mambo ya ndoa mambo ya ndoa yule ambaye anajaribu kuelezea kiasi ni mzazi na hali kadhalika mchungaji. Kwa hivyo unaweza kumuona dume ambaye amekaa miaka mingi na mama amekaa ama msichana amekaa miaka mingi they have all the other knowledge and education uh, pumped into their brains and is good lakini mambo ya ndoa ni machache sana wanaelewa. Kwa hivyo nikasema ya kwamba na kabla sijaendelea i want to believe you went through that na hata baada ya hiyo wapendwa ni vizuri kutaka kutamani zaidi if if you want to succeed in anything please you need to find knowledge and in, and the wisdom pertaining to the institution that you are going to engage yourself or to embark yourself in it in jesus name mara nyingine unaona wazazi tunalea tu ama tulelelewa kwa sababu ya heshima nyingi mambo mengine hayatajui na pas, kwa sababu ya mimi nilisoma sana kuliko wazazi wangu mambo mengine hata wanafikiria 
at ni 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 naelewa kuliko wao ni mambo ya shule tu but things pertaining to marriage in fact my parents though they were retreats or semi retreats ni mambo mengi sana wanajua kuliko vile ambavyo ningejua na hata utakuta wachungaji wengine wanaweza kuogopa lakini please be aggressive find to get the knowledge so marriage is an institution that is full of uh, uh, expectations kuna matarajio mimi nilipomuoa huyu mrembo wangu mke wangu you've been married for the last uh, 38 years now can you imagine this she's, she's now na alikuwa na miaka yake kabla hiyo 38 sasa unajaribu ujaribu kutengeneza yule urembo urudishe uone alikuwa kisura wa aina gani <laughs> na tena alikuwa ameokoka praise the name of the lord <laughs> mimi wachaneni nani kwa sababu hata mwanaume akiwa kama kisiki bora tu awe na akili kile kinahitajika na mwanaume ni awe na akili za kutosha kuongoza nyumba yake na of course ya kuleta maji kwa mwilini na kuchana nywele yake hiyo inatosha mambo mengi hiyo sasa mama awe nayo so when we got married and as much as you are getting married today and like everyone of else we have what you call marriage expectations jeri lazima si mwanaume tu alitaka kemani no in this no not kemani maina jo jo na vile vile jo si si mwanamke alitaka alitaka mke na and uh, it is good to 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 know that uh, there is what you call a wife material na si kila mwanamke ambaye ni wife material vijana ndugu yangu nyenye ambao mmebaki safarini mkitafuta na kutafutwa and not every man is a husband material so when you get one thank god for that na umulinde umtunze na umuombe mungu na umshike mkono ili mkaweze kuishi na yeye hadi kifo kitakapo atenganisha. Amen. Si nyinyi ni wasomi wa wa wa, wa, wa mambo ya, ya ya social media. Si mnaweza kujua mambo mengi sana katika mitandao. Mtaelewa you can see the kind of young girls, the kind of young men we have today. Full of decadence, full of destruction and uh, uh, moral decay and what have you lakini unapopata mcha Mungu Biblia inasema katika kitabu cha Medhari ya kwamba mali na nyumba mvulana yeye hupata kutoka kwa baba urithi wa nyumba na mali mvulana anatoka I mean, mvulana anaweza kupokea kutoka kwa baba but a prudent wife mke mwema mtu hupata kutoka kwake Mwenyezi Mungu are we together guys Praise the name of the Lord. Why if you have marriage expectations and be, so that you can be able to li, to realize marriage expectations I've got a few tidbits for you. Kidogo kwa sababu ya haraka tulie nayo. Ya kwanza ni nyinyi wawili muwe na ufahamu na hekima that you be knowledgeable and wise understand what marriage entails. Praise the name of the Lord. Understand your responsibility as a husband and a father. Understand the responsibility of a wife and a mother for that matter. Na mambo mengine ambayo yanatembea pamoja na mambo ya ndoa. Ujue uhuru wako ume, umefika kiwango gani? Kiwango cha mzazi kwa sababu the Bible says mvulana ataacha baba na mama na unajua wavulana wanapendana wanapendana sana na mama zao i'm sure ke money you can take that no ke ke money maina mothers got a lot of influence over their sons whether you say yes i know i've been a son of my mother praise the name of the lord kuna mambo ambapo wazee kwa sababu ya ya vile ambavyo tumeumbwa na hata vile ambavyo uh, mazingara yale tumelelewa nayo we may not have so much time to interact with our own sons and daughters na kinachojulikana ni kwamba mama ana influence kubwa sana na watoto wake and more especially so to the sons 
Biblia inaposema mvulana aache baba na mama ni kwamba like me like anybody else and today like I'm going to advise my friend this is not counseling it's not for us it is for us all ni kwamba eh maina apate uhuru wa kujitawala kwa sababu ulienda kwa wazazi ukasema ya kwamba mimi natosha uhuru wa kujitawala unajua kile ambacho unapata mshahara wako you got learn how you save na vile mambo mengine yule ambaye mnastahili kukaa na yeye kuzungumza na yeye ni yule mama na baba wakikuwa advice that is okay take that just to give you wisdom damar is the same way you have a lovely mother there you have a dad na wasiana wanapendana sana unajua ukitisha baba yako kitu habagaini lakini ukienda kwa mama lazima akuulize ni ya nini mara nyingi lakini nina wa, I have daughters I have daughters I know Vulana akija kwangu nina maswali chungu zima lakini msichana akija ni mwagia olesi tena pia sigana yani nataka haraka tuachane heshima hiyo na mara nyingi the daughters like going through the father than through the mother kwa sababu akipitia kwa mama mama naye pasipo kama ni sent mama ana ana, ana kesi kubwa kidogo hiyo tunaelewa that psychology social psychology kila ningetaka kusema hata wewe waweza kushauriwa na mama yako na baba yako unganisha hayo yote na nyinyi vile vile lakini mtakapoenda kufikiri muelewe ya kwamba mashauri yale mmepata hata kwa marafiki hata kwa neno lake Mwenyezi Mungu ni vizuri uamuzi wa mwisho uwe ni wenu nyinyi wawili ambayo mmekubaliana sema amen so you need to be knowledgeable you need to be to be wise be committed in a sacrificial manner yani ujitolee kwa jia hata ya ya kujitolea kama sadaka maisha ni mwako commitment nikiwa mume wa mtu nimeamua sasa hata ni vizuri ni vizuri uh, nyinyi wawili kila mtu aanze kufanya hesabu how you are going to to to, to do the, the transition hata kuachana na marafiki wale wa vurana anake ishera le anake niriega mede not moke manyihagie hoai ole amara nyihagia tene na mutumia wa kudego koro e ka mutumia ka amarugagere gima ka hakagathia geage kagate amagathia gotoro you got to know there is transition Dipasha from one age group to another one praise the name of the lord nilifikiria mtanipigia makofi kwa sababu kwa sababu barakoa hasiko kwa masikio ziko kwa mdomo <laughs> praise the name of the lord are we together vile vile wasichana warika lako jeri just love them respect them praise the name of the lord lakini wape mpaka jambo lingine ni kwamba Ulikuwa na uhuru wako kila mmoja wenu uliamuka saa zile ulitaka kama ni weekend. Na ni ulachagua utakula mara ngapi na utakula nini? Na utaenda wapi ama utakaa into all, all the day. Ninataka kusema whenever you make a decision even to go out remember now you are not alone. Lazima umwambie kesho ninaenda mahali. Unarajiwa mwali wachukuna. Naona unaniangalia very intently. Yeah. Na nitakuombea Mungu hata wewe upate wa kwako. Praise the name of the Lord. Are we together? Yes. Mambo mengine ndipoza nazungumza si hawa tu ni nawazungumzia. All of us need to get the tidbit so that we can be able to be educated in just in that little time. Unaweza kupata kitu Mungu akusaidie. Bwana asifiwe. You got to be adaptable. Yaani <laughs> ukubali ma- makubaliano. Todo hata kodiko yoli atirele. Kae ko hikare kuga atia. Eni ole woni ha ah, na ke na ke kai ko hikani are ate a ah, a ah, ko hikani ani ate re he na mutumia ole ku ira ga dreda and requires your attention mr maina you've got to adopt yourself that you are no longer solo you are no longer alone somebody is there and also somebody who requires your attention praise the name of the lord e bona asifiwe sana na vile vile dada wetu bintu wetu dama rezama bintu wa jogona na na mam 
hivyo ndivyo ilivyo you got to be accountable ni mambo mengine inaweza kukuletea stress hata leo ninajua kabla ya kujua nazima mlikuwa na stress kwanza ni harusi yetu itakuwa namna gani and then how will it be after the wedding how will be the honeymoon sasa hiyo ndio inaleta stress zaidi na deposa mko na wasimamizi wasimamizi mkae macho msikae kama karuru ndio ndio natamrealika haya wacha mimi nizungumze yangu na maneno yangu mimi nipita niende i'm telling you the truth so there is that kind of uh, how do i go about it how how is it going to be na hata baada ya hiyo kwa hivyo it's very important for you to get prepared and internalize it and uh, of course be adaptable to other things of marriage not only that be adaptable to 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 somebody that maybe have got some weaknesses that you are not used to or some strength that you are not used to ni vizuri kwa sababu hakuna malaika ni mradi wa wega mwadhani ya gosho kutiri mudu malaika maina juge shugo nini nini nao jetekelie tu ni undu wa wa gitiyo ge aciari na na gitiyo kya mwadhani na gitiyo kya miaka yako jeri ni mwale wa muhujia dogeshirie wa hikia muhujia atenu akuthomeire bibilia na tokorie kwaya na kuinagire kana na jeri wesire wa hikia wa hikio ne ne mutemuri wa muthuri wa kanitha wesire ore atuhujagiria na atiraga ruga magaikaraga ithi niguo turikage tutakathagira matakatho ake no 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 she is a human being per se praise the name of the lord umenye ni mudu devoid of being who have as a daughter of a priest and also a daughter of a servant of god in the other way na mama na jua waliokoka wakiwa mahali pale no menye ni mudu na ni ale na weakness shake distinct from the rest of the family she has her own strength jerry he has his own strength devoid of the influence ninajua ya kwamba there are a lot of ingrained influence ya wazazi kwa sababu inategemea mtu amelelewa na nani na kwa mazingara gani lakini kila mtu ana mambo yake kila mtu ana taste zake kila mtu ana talent zake kila mtu ana mambo yake anadai na anatarajia katika maisha yake bwana asifiwe lingine niende haraka loving always sasa upendo <laughs> kama ningekuwa na nafasi lakini upendo ni rahisi caring for one another learning together walking as a team etc etc kwa hivyo ili jambo la fungato la maisha ya watu wawili kaweze kufaulu first and foremost you need to be knowledgeable and wise na mambo hayo mengine ni mataja taja na mengine mengine tamani desire to know Miles Monroe stated may he so less rest in peace in eternal life Alisema ya kwamba the worst enemy of a human being is not the devil but ignorance Na no ri mundu le thibitari Dole shida no Praise the name of the Lord Atugio ni ali muhire muno turokere dagitari nigetha gathe cho chida no ahone nigetha no 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 you clave you desire you 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 yearn for it look for it be knowledgeable so that you be a smart husband a smart husband who is the head of the family atimia mendaga mudu ina kiongo mudu rume urona maudu uratongoria ne mrajugwa wega Moduru me urona maudu uratongoria urame ki decisions nona mari amatari mega akaugacha ona korode kuheyo cha muthenyo chio akaugacha nidiramenya na kuria turorete ona korogoti kweru haleluya hedeyo but so long as you know you are in line with the word of god nurajigua e atumia meda mudu murume tondu wahota kumurumira akuria tiri githiona tiwe moduru me githiona tiwo ngianganirie haleluya Reasoning this is the way it is at times you don't say yes yes to be a good husband 
not saying yes, 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 but also reasoning. And when you want to say no, of course, you've got to explain. I'm saying no because I can see this deficit. I can see this. Now, I can see this. I can see this. Na hata watoto wanapenda baba kama yule na vile vile mke mzuri ambaye anafanya mwanaume wake kujisisi kama shujaa. Toro ninge mtumia like <laughs> diga na anatumia to do makire wa matika hule. Na kile <laughs> wanaume wanapenda mama, mama msafi, mama mrembo, mama ambaye uwego tukanie. <laughs> Kabishi wega na waruega tigo tukanagia ati olio farafara ni uraigua getoero lia kira atheruka taudu getire na furani boga kabishita kuku kwa njine njike na iwaru nene jagi na kere ya kege na makara ti na nanyama liwa na liwa liwa nako karikaka ni hati ni modo ni modo ramenya mitugo ni modo ramenya ramenya kwevaga ona no modo na ke mudomu to to gedo mage ya shukuru otakirea kege takirea gedo meto ne jeli na ria ge praise the name of the lord are we together to do to do maga nigeta giga to teje to the to tige ko 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 hikagia dogo modi na sio dogo modi tika hikagia dogo modi ria ige katika jina la yesu christ we need brilliant people ona nyumba yanga yeda ga hujia mena athuri mena mitugo because even after saying hallelujah here and preaching my lifestyle may preach more than what I preached at the pulpit. Say my man. Nimalizia nikishame ya kwamba wedding is a ceremony marking the beginning of a marriage institution like we are having today. Both of them declaring a covenant or making vows between cadres who qualify, that is you guys have qualified with parents' blessings or they are dedicated with God's blessings, vile tutakavyofanya, thereby it has been registered. Sasa nazungumza kuhusu the ceremony today. Mambo mengine ya 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 karamu na na celebration ni mazuri lakini inategemea mfuko wa watu. Ukitaka kwenda na farasi, ukitaka kwenda na helicopter, hiyo inategemea mfuko wako na affordability yako na nini na nini. Lakini cha muhimu ni kwamba baraka za wazazi Baraka zake mwenyezi mungu, praise the name of the Lord, and then it is legalized in the procedural way as we are going to do today. Wa hivyo, ningetaka kusema, nifikishe mahali hapa munikubalie jambo hilo, ili hata tuweze kumalizia na tuweze kuwabariki, na mjue ya kwamba sasa arusi ya leo, singe uliza ni nani anapinga, adu ikumina atano noa kukioke mudo wako viga. Ona geviga ha hato go ke mohi gira ha do to dia bere. Of course. <laughs> Was the babu I had already received a registration certificate already. That one is enough and I had not received any order restricting me to continue. So I I I declare it legal as we continue. Praise the name of the Lord. Ningependa sasa bibi harusi akaweze kusimama na wazazi wake bwana harusi asimame na wazazi wake praise the name of the lord sasa taratibu ya vile ambavyo wazazi watakaye wasidikisha wasidikisha kila mtu wa kwake na kila baadaye wapokezane na sisi nasi wachungaji tuendelee na ya kwetu katika jina la Yesu Kristo kwa hivyo ninaomba I, I, I just don't know how we are going to do it. Ninaonaanga kama ingekuwa vizuri wafike hapa wazazi wa binti Damaris mfike hapa na nyinyi mutoke kwa meza pande ile na nyinyi wapiga picha sasa you got to arrange yourself. Inyo ni nyomo ko iganero lea tureda. Leo ulea go kiuga muga gitikira. Eh maroka haha ndigetha magerere haguri. Au niho mara mara nyitiza ndio. Bwana asifiwe sana. Asante sana. Kwa hivyo ni ninawaomba wapendwa watu wapigieni wa makofi hawa. Praise the name of the Lord. Naroga mereli ya kwa roga modhi mone shiga gothi makaroga mana iguru. Tafadhali let us not be over socialized with those that are afar while we have them here that we are socializing with. Are we together? Kimani uh, oh sorry. Maina. 
Nedia na guko meka wa inene naivasha. Pemeka wa mene na muno. Kama unajua na kilichoko ni kwamba unaweza kuenda kuona mwanaume alienda na mke wake. To give her a treat. Na wakifika mahali pale unaona mwanaume mezani mwake ana simu. Ni kuchati tu. Nae dada ana chat. Now why should you go make take her or him for a treat? You are negotiating with so many hundreds of people out there that you are not physically interactive. Living your only beloved one there. Kwa hivyo ikifika mambo ya nyumbani tafadhali hata mimi nimeanguka katika ule mtego. Mara mama anakuwa ananikumbushanga. Anybody ka, anaweza kuanguka kwa yule mtego lakini be careful when you get home. Praise the name of the Lord. Be careful. Ninajua kazi ni nyingi zenu lakini ukifika nyumbani mambo ya ofisi na unafika nyumbani unakuwa mama unafika nyumbani unakuwa baba na mambo ya nyumbani you give your wife attention you give your husband attention mambo yakimalizika go wherever you are and give whatever your duties your attention and what have you in the name of Jesus ndijite kiretio ko kuhujia gitengenaga kwa hivyo naomba njeri i remember those days na ile kigari yetu ilikuwa mbaya lakini silifanya kazi yake. Yeah. When she was born, dadi alikuja akaniambia tumepata binti tuende tukamchukue hospitali. Ndio sasa namkumbusha and I thank God because you 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 influence I know I don't know who influence the other and uh, I, I came just to also to witness you are you are you are waiting today. May God bless you abundantly. Na nyinyi najua wazazi wenu wale wazee Mungu wabariki na uzao huu wenu ubarikiwe na hata wajukuu na vitukuu wabarikiwe. Kwa hivyo ninaomba msogeleane karibu. Sasa mkifika mahali pale gotire gaidi kana nyinyi ni mogo sanitize haidhuru. Tembea pale. <laughs> na polepole pole, lakini haraka kidogo msiende polepole pole sana mfike mahali pale ili sasa basi naona hata wao walijuana mmetoka katika maeneo mamoja. Kwa hivyo walipokutana waliambiana tumetoka pamoja kwa hivyo tunaweza kutengeneza jamii moja vile mlizungumza basi Mungu aliwaelekeza. Sasa mkifika mahali pale sasa mara nyingi tunasemanga wasalimiane lakini sasa you can check unaweza kumpatiana kwa yeye na wewe umpokee Mr. Maina. Ya mweza tuwapigie makofi, makofi, makofi. Harafu wazazi msikae sana pale mbaki nyuma kidogo. <laughs> Dio ya nyuma kidogo na leo wenye tatu leo inyo leo na corona na mask inyo si alivyo inyo ile noho mambo ya polio mwaka hika ni mambo ya kuchoka alivyo ndio leo ke kajiato but uh, i know i know nyinyi ni wazuri nyinyi ni watakatifu hata katika mambo ya covid isn't it i want to believe so and we trust god for everything na kila mmoja anataka kuamini mlijilinda kwa sababu ya mwenzake Atungependa kusikia yale kwa hivyo Mungu awe pamoja nanyi. Kwa hivyo ningependa sasa Mr. Maina apokee kipasa sauti kime kimefanywa fumigation sijui kama and naona you have a fumigator there. Thank you. Thank you. Asante sana. Hiyo ni kitu ambaye eh, na ninasema wale ambaye hawajui kama kuna COVID si uganga fulani we are just becoming a little bit uh, precautious. Kwa hivyo uh, Maina Ningetaka kwanza ushukuru wazazi alafu mpatie njeri na yeye aseme kitu washukuru tuendelee na mengine katika jina la Yesu just thank them for that kwa maneno machache bwana sifi uh, ningependa kushukuru wazazi wa Damaris uh, kwa kumlea vizuri na kumuonyesha njia za Mungu na atakuwa vile yupo sasa hadi wakati huu wa harusi yetu na pia ninasema asanteni kwa kunikubalisha pia mimi kuchukua mtoto wangu katika ndoa na Mungu awabariki na pia hata wazazi wangu nashukuru sana kwa kunilea na kuniongoza Asante tu pigia makofi asante Damaris unaweza kusema machache na wewe na ili tuwaruhusu wazazi waketi chini na sisi tukaweze kuendelea na sehemu hiyo ingine. Uh, nataka kuwashukuru wazazi wa Joe 
sababu ya kumlea vizuri katika njia za Bwana na hata kumfunza tabia nzuri uh, hata kumsaidia katika hayo the steps that you've taken kufika mahali hapa Mungu wabariki na hata wainue uh, na hata wazazi wangu pia Mungu wabariki for the support na kila jambo ambalo mmelifanya Bwana wabariki Asante sana tuwapatie sasa uhuru wazazi mnaweza kuketi chini mtuachie hawa unaweza kumpatia mwenzako aliye nyuma yako kipaza sauti aweze kusaidia mahali kitaenda basi no atakuwa nacho tu ningetaka tu Mr. Joe Maina Kimani kuchukue kipasa sauti hicho na sasa I would like you to say your vows na kutoka mahali pale you are going to exchange uh, your, your, your rings I know the rings are around maybe I don't know thank you ninaona on a note ya kwamba ziko Ningetaka sasa umshike vizuri na mtazame mtazamane ah na hubulia mwiritu sio na Ana kiguya ni age kinyire Haleluya Bwana asifiwe Eh kamata sasa Sema mi jo kimani jo maina kimani mimi jo maina kimani na kuchukua wewe Damaris Jerry Njugona na kuchukua wewe Damaris Jerry Njugona uwe mke wangu wa maisha uwe mke wangu wa maisha ninaye mpenda ninaye mpenda na kukudhamini na kukudhamini nitakulinda nitakulinda na kukutunza daima na kukutunza daima na kuahidi ya kwamba hata wakati mambo ni mabaya na kuahidi ya kwamba hata wakati na hata wakati mambo ni mazuri na hata wakati ma- wakati wa ugonjwa wakati wa ugonjwa wakati wa afya wakati wa afya wakati wa wote ule wakati wa wote ule hata nitakuheshimu hata nitakuheshimu na kukuheshimisha kuheshimisha nitakuwa na wewe nitakuwa na wewe nakusimama na wewe nakusimama na hadi kifo kitakapotutenganisha hadi kifo kitakapo Mungu nisaidie Mungu nisaidie praise the name of the lord you see that is a, a covenant statement thank you thank you haya jeri na wewe Sema mimi Damaris Jerry Njuguna. Mimi Damaris Jerry Njuguna. Nimeamua kukuchukua wewe Jo Maina Kimani. Nimeamua kukuchukua wewe Jo Maina Kimani. Uwe mume wangu wa maisha. Uwe mume wangu wa maisha. Nimeamua kukupenda. Nimeamua kukupenda na kukutunza. Na kukutunza. Na hata nime nimeapa ya kwamba nitaendelea kukulinda. Na hata nimeapa ya kwamba nitaendelea kukulinda. Wakati mambo ni mazuri wakati mambo ni mabaya wakati, wakati wa shida wakati wa shida na usiye wa shida na usiye wa shida wakati wa maradhi wakati wa maradhi na wakati wa afya na wakati wa afya nitakuheshimu mimi nitakuheshimu mimi na kukuheshimisha na kukuheshimisha maisha ni yangu yote maisha ni yangu yote mungu anisaidie mungu anisaidie amen praise the name of the lord asante 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 ninaomba sasa mwenye anapeta ama mko nazo kama ziko karibu ni sawa sawa wapatie kila mmoja ya kwake zimebarikiwa nitawabariki nitabariki in the name of the father and the son and the holy spirit thank you sasa mpatie kimani i mean ya yeah, maina ya ya damaris na ya damaris mpatie ya ya mwenzake basi tukiwa washahidi tungependa sasa uvalishane ama mvikane hizo hizo pete Aya kimani is wewe ubaki ukiwa kichwa. And men are always are decisive and aggressive and, is, and the like. Praise the name of the Lord. Aya shika yake dole chake cha pete. Mwambie mimi jo maina kimani. Mimi jo maina kimani. Nimeamua kukuweka pete hii Damaris Njeri Njugona. Nimeamua kukuweka pete hii Damaris Njeri Njugona. Kama ishara ya mapenzi yetu hadi kifo kitakapotutenganisha kama ishara ya mapenzi yetu yetu hadi kifo kitakapo kama jinsi ilivyo mfuringo kama jinsi ilivyo mafuriko mapenzi yetu yasiwe na mwisho mapenzi yetu yasiwe na mwisho katika jina la baba katika jina la baba na la mwana na mwana na la roho mtakatifu roho mtakatifu amen praise the name of the lord yeah i want to believe damaris you are going to reciprocate in the same sasa sema mimi damaris jerry njogona Nimeamua kukuweka pete hii jo maina kimani. Nimeamua kukuweka pete hii jo maina. Ishara ya kwamba nakupenda hadi kifo kitakapotutenganisha. Ishara ya kwamba nitakupenda hadi kifo. Kama vile pete hii ni mfiringo. 
kama vile pete hii ni mviringo niombi langu mapenzi yetu ya dumu ya bila kuwa na mwisho ni mapenzi ombi langu kwa kwa mapenzi yetu ya dumu bila kuwa na mwisho katika jina la baba katika jina la baba na la mwana na la mwana na la roho mtakatifu na roho mtakatifu sema amen asante sana eh hii dataliri mudu ni amumu nyagai noto wadu tutikweda mwa jiriri ya haa. Na yuna jiriri na tikiza. I said you got to be adaptable. Lakini you can hug at least. At least you can hug. Hallelujah. Noto katole wa inagia mutu wa noa igwa. Doe siya na siya huja ne kruti siya maudu maigemono. Na adhuli ya kanitha. Lazima umpevuke. Nasikia vizuri. Mamba ya ndoa na mamba ya, ya, ya kuendelea na maisha na, na kuserebrate pamoja. Lazima muwe sharp. Na mwaigua? Hei ni. Mwadha ni ya roga wa shua. Tuga ya meni. <laughs> na oke nyiteguwa kwa tuka aleki. <laughs> Basi, natu, oke, wa, wachungaji jooni tu wabariki hawa. <laughs> of course, at a distance, tutawekele mikono yetu. Eh... Lakini si tuki sanitize na tuweke barakoa ingekuwa vizuri zaidi. Ya yeah, wachungaji mweke barakoa, you, you sanitize, you go and lay on your hands. Baba na mama hata nyinyi jooni nyinyi ni watumishi. Nyinyi muna kofia mbili. Ya yeah, sanitization, you do it. <laughs> yeah. Na nyinyi mpige magoti hapa. Nyinyi mpige magoti mahali hapa. Hawa watumishi wa Mungu wazazi wanazao za wazazi na hata za watumishi. Basi teremkeni pole pole na ole go kinya mbere ya nyiterere ole oge niguo guthiaga kwa jiriria leu. Mwadhani ya rogosho. Ndio. Ningependa oh barakoa yangu ninaomba naye iko wapi? Yeah, let me have my own barakoa because I want to get there. I don't want to take things for granted. Mwena basi ya dhimu nega edho mwagi igwe kani ya korora tuwede kumukinyira tukiena na basi ya dhimu tuweza nene geza tutaitha niye. Aleluya. Basi tukaribie yule ambaya na ujasiri kama mimi ya wekele mikono yake. Tuombeni. Baba wetu wa binguni katika jina la Yesu Kristo tumeleza kwa sisi watumishi na wanao. Tukiwa hapa kanisani mbele ya vijana hawa na wazazi wao bwana ambayo Mungu uliwapa kuwa baraka kwao. Na kwa makubaliano na mapatano wameketi pamoja wamekubaliana wamebariki watoto hawa wao ili wakaweze kuishi pamoja kama mume na mke. Sisi watumishi wako bwana tuwaleta mbele zako. Tuwaomba bwana ukaachilie baraka kutoka kiti chako cha enzi katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Ukaanze pamoja na wao safari hii ndefu ambayo ni hadi kifo kitakapo watenganisha. Uwasaidie kuelewana katika weakness na hata katika strength zao Mungu wakaweze kuwa adaptable. Uwasaidie bwana kuonana kana kwamba wao ni binadamu wanayehitaji neema yako na hata uelewano kati ya hao wawili. Anza na wao baba wa milele. Bariki maisha yao, bariki tumbo zao zikaweze kupata watoto wazuri. Wale ambao watakuwa baraka kwao na hata baraka kwa inchi na hata katika ufalme wako. Watoto wasikivu na watoto watiifu na watoto ambao watakaishi kwa ajili ya sifa na utukufu wa jina lako. Bariki kazi ya mikono yao mahali wanafanya kazi, waongezee zaidi utajiri wa nyumba na fedha na vyote ambavyo Mungu angehitaji ili wakaweze kuishi maisha mazuri kama watoto wa mfalme na hata vile vile wale watoto wao vizuri. Na nena baraka hizo baba wa binguni katika jina la Yesu. Tazama wazazi wakuu wao. The grandparents were in the house. Na Mungu wanakupenda walikuabudu na hata ukawabariki na vijana wao ambao ni baba na wazazi wa hawa. Na hata mama zao uzao huo bwana ninaomba uendelee hivyo hivyo kama uzao wa ufalme wabarikie bwana wao pia na uzao utakayowafuata katika jina la baba na la mwana na la roho mtakatifu tumeomba mungu wabariki tuachangie makofi basi 
uh, pongezini ni sema pongezi kwa niamba ya wachungaji wote we usually give a hard lakini tunataka kuwa na some limitations wachungaji naomba mketi chini Mungu awabariki sana na sasa ninataka kuwaomba hao wawili wafike mahali hapa pamoja na wasimamizi aha waweze kuweka sahihi Keni hapa juu mahali ambapo mmeonyeshwa Asante. Nashukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa sababu tumeendelea kufika tamati. Sasa ni fursa yangu nikiwa mbele yenu nyinyi nyote mbele yake Mwenyezi Mungu kwa mamlaka ambayo nimekabidhiwa na kanisa na serikali ya nchi yetu ya Kenya. Ningependa tarehe ya leo 23 mwezi wa tano mwaka wa mbili na ishirini kutangaza jo maina kemani na Damaris Jerry Njugona kuanzia leo hadi kifo kitakapo atenganisha kuwa mume na mke halali Mungu awabariki sana Amen Amen Mnaweza shika nyinyi wawili ili kwa sababu ya picha mnaweza ishika vizuri nyinyi wawili na mna hivyo Asante Ya, 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 ya,
Basi nashukuru Mwenyezi Mungu napenda kumleta kwenu nyinyi kuanzia leo hawa wapendwa wawili Zaidi Kriya them husband and a wife Jo Maina Kimani na Damaris Njeri Njugona kuanzia leo Tuwatangilia tuwapokea Tuwabariki sana Mungu awaelekeze vizuri Mungu hapi nashukuru Mungu basi nataka kumpisha kiongozi wa sherehe hiyo akaweze kuendelea na Mungu awe pamoja na nyanya asanteni sana Shangilia Yesu milima wanyama mabonde vitana wazee watoto dunia na anga Tukaweze kumshukuru regional bishop wetu ambaye ameweza kutuongoza katika kipindi hicho kwa njia ya makofi tuwapigie tumpigie makofi anapoketi na kwa neno nzuri ambalo ameweza kutupa. Amen. Tuwashukuru bwana nabii harusi ambao sasa ni husband and wife just married. Tuwapigie makofi tafadhali. Hallelujah. That is wonderful. Awesome. Great. And now tunataka kuingia katika kipindi kingine kwa sababu muda nao pia tutaweza kuangalia kwa sababu masaa ya serikali ambayo imeweza kupeana yasije akatupata hapa. Na kwa hivyo ningetaka tukaweze kuwekewa wimbo tukaweze kuingia katika kipindi au awamu ya picha wa wapendwa hawa wameniuliza kama ni vizuri wangepigiwa picha zao pale kwa mlango na zingine pale kwa nyasi kwa sababu ya urembo na ni vizuri. Kwa hivyo ningewauliza wale ambao ni uh, bridal party yote wakaweze kuwaongoza pale mbele tukaweke tukaweze kuwekewa wimbo watoke pole pole taratibu tutoke hivyo Tuende pale mbele pale kwa mlango tunazo picha kadhaa ambazo tutaweza kupigwa na wao na nikaweze kutoa taratibu ya picha zile au utaratibu kidogo ni kwamba tunazo picha kama kumi hivi ambazo picha ya kwanza ni ya uh, the newly wed pamoja na officiating bishop that is uh, bishop Kabiru Then picha ya pili itakuwa ya wao pamoja na Bishop Mbogwa. Alafu kisha tutaenda kwa wazazi, tuteremke namna ile. Baada ya hizo picha tutaweza kurudi hapa, tukaweze kukata keki na baada ya keki tutaingia katika mankuli. Ah, tukaweze kufuata utaratibu ule. Na wangojea the bridal team ikaweze kuongoza pale na wakaweze kuwekewa wimbo pamoja na kiongozi wa kanisa Mjono Bishop pamoja na Dissent Bishop tunaweza tutokea kwa mlango huu tukawangoje pale mbele tukapigwe picha na wao katika jina la Yesu. Atuwekewe wimbo tafadhali. Haleluya.
hands in worship. I know the world is sick and they said they've called it signal to play or whatever. But in church we yatta for our God. Now let me see you. Yatta, yatta, yatta. With you, yatta, yatta, with you, yatta, 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 yatta. Let me see you with your hands, everybody. You are the most I got. 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 You are
tabasamu picha mzuri nyuzo zilizo rembeka namna ile good wazazi wote wa pande zote mbili wazazi wote pande zote mbili Ah, hiyo ni mzuri picha maridadi. Tunaye mjomba mjomba wa, wa Damaris. Bai yuko pamoja nasi pamoja na Ya yeah, smile pale. Nyuzo mzuri mzuri. <laughs> Tuingie katika ndugu na dada za juu na Damaris na picha ya kwanza ni ya Yunis. Huyu ni sister wa juu. Urembo mtamu pale. <laughs> Aya picha ya pili ni ya Charity. Picha ya, ya wadugu na wadada ni Charity pamoja na Yunis pamoja. Tunaingia kwa timu yote ambayo ni ya wale wazimamizi wote. The bridal team plus the newly wed. <laughs> picha maridadi Aya picha hiyo nyingine ni ya wazimamizi wao wale ambao ni the best couple Aya wale ambao ni vijana wasimamizi vijana wakaribishwa hapa kwa picha <laughs> Good. Smart. Marafiki ambao wangehitaji picha pamoja na wale ambao Marafiki Naweza anza na wazee wa kanisa pale Elda Kinyanjui, Elda Ikonya, Elda Madhai, Elda Mburu. I am good. Atanami, you're going to quit.
Tunapo fika mwisho wa zile picha tafadhali kama kuna ye, rafiki mwingine ambaye yuko pale mwana rafiki mwingine ambaye angehitaji picha Ezra, Mama Ezra, Omuya, Mama Ruth. Ya, waingie kwa ile picha. Mama Felix, Karibia. Kuna wengine pale ambao ni washirika. Waingie kwa ile picha. It's very important. Nahitajika sana. Kuna wengine ambao wanakuja. Felix Muoni Mama Maina Muoni Dennis Ya kwa picha tunapo tamatisha Vijana Wale ambao wako karibu Tunapo Kunga kipindi cha picha Asante. Kwa wakati huu ningetaka kuwakaribisha Nabi Jomaina ukaweze kuingia katika Oh ya Omoya, karibu. Nayo picha yako pale. Mwingine ambaye kuna Wana na bijo maina Jitayarishe kuja Kuangia na Camera person Toa maoni yao na shukra ah, Kuangia na wale ambao Wana wa watch live Kwa dakika moja peke ya Tafadhali karibia ni kwa sababu ya mwana Mwamwea Tujaribu kuharakisha kwa sababu muda na tusonga. Asante, tunashukuru. Joe pamoja na, na Damaris, tafadhali kujeni muonge na wale ambao wamekua kwa enya rusi yenu wakiwa watch kutoka kwa mitanda yeah my corporate is ifanywe tunapomaliza tafadhali wengine tukaweze kuingia kwa kanisa ndani na ili tukaweze kushuhudia kataji wa keki wengine tafadhali ninawauliza tukaweze kuingia kanisani Washirika wengine na wauliza mkaweze kia kanisani Tukaweze kushuhudia ukataji wa keki Kwa sababu ya muda his Ebenezer. Uh, thank you for watching our wedding and we would love to share this joy with you but because of this pandemic you cannot. So God bless you and uh, may he increase you for even standing with us. Thank you. Na ili tukaweze kushuhudia buwana na bijo maina wanapo kata keki. Huku kani sandani. Tafadhali ni nawauliza tukaweze kuingia. The bridal team wote 
pamoja na wazazi wote, viongozi wote tujaribu kuharakisha kwa sababu ya muda. Tafadhali. Kindly, kindly, tukaweze kuingia, tukaweze kukata keki. Oh, thank you for watching uh, and for those who have been watching, you know about the COVID-19, what has been going on, that's why we have this number. And for all those who have been watching, this live streaming was brought to you by Katas of Attention Graphics. And if you are seated there, next time you have an event, you want to be covered the same way we have covered for our friend today, feel free can go to our pages that is uh, attention graphics on youtube facebook page instagram like subscribe and get the contacts if you want something like that's want to be done thank you very much and god bless you amen